Hi friends, welcome back to Happy Out Home. In today's video, it is all about the foyer. And today we are going to get this cleaned up. I am going to take this table over here. I am going to refinish it and paint it. Um, it is black with an all natural top. I am going to paint it in navy and add some gold accents to it and fix this space up going to be taking down the tree. I'm going to be moving that foyer table back over here and we are just going to refresh this whole foyer space and I'm going to tell you about my plans hopefully this year about what to do with all of this big old empty wall space. So I have big plans for that and I am glad you are here. You're rejoining me so let's get started. what we're left with after the tree's been taken down. A big flocking mess. Yes, there is flocking all over the floor. The ladder is still here. I've got boxes. I have this really great, really large um, container cabinet that I bought that fit all of the ornaments. So that was really great. I tried to use a smaller one and it just wasn't gonna fit. So I got these really large ones and everything fit perfectly. And I put the, um, the fur ribbon in the middle to protect the pieces, the individual layers. So those are layered inside of the container. I've got to get all of this wiped up and all of this cleaned up. I've got garland in these boxes. And what I'm going to start with today is painting this side table. You can see I started it a while ago and with um, milk paint, I painted the bottom black. I sanded the whole thing. I painted the bottom black and I left just raw wood on top. So it's all sanded. 
So I'm not gonna need to sand it, which is really great. I'm happy about that because I already did that. Let's pull it up here. It's got two drawers. I'm gonna add some gold handles. I'm gonna paint them gold. And I am going to paint it actually navy. So I'm excited about that. I'll let you know the color. I hope it turns out, but that is what I am going to start doing today. So another part of the foyer that I am working on is um, redecorating this large table. This is the table that we normally have against this wall. I am going to be freshening this up with a little winter scene um, for another few weeks. And then I'm gonna be transitioning in February into some um, lighter hues, you know, pinks and blues. But I think I'm gonna keep things mostly white now for the winter. Like I said, we haven't even had our first snowfall yet. We had a few flurries this morning. It was just a little teaser. It lasted maybe 15 minutes, but it was too warm. Um, but anyway, so I am gonna take the tablecloth of here. I'm gonna freshen up this area. And what I'm thinking about doing is, you know, that table that I have over there that I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna put it over here and see what it looks like. It's a long table. I'm just kind of, you know, trying to change things up a little bit and see what that look is like. Normally I have this large table that I put over against this wall, but since I'm gonna paint that table over there, I'm gonna move it over here and see what it looks like. See if I like it, change things up a little bit. Um, and uh, I am working with someone trying to get some information about you know, what to do with all of this wall space we've talked about, and hopefully I'm gonna be meeting him soon and go over some further details, and hopefully I'll have something to follow up with you there. But hold on while I start on this area, taking it down, and then I'm gonna start painting the table over there, and then we are gonna see what the finished scene looks like. So hold on for that. up. I'm um, alone in the house today, so I had no help in moving things around or carrying things out to the garage, so I managed to clean it up pretty well. I uh, still have the table over there, but got the little tree taken down from the table, and things are, things are looking pretty good. So, you know, I moved this table over here, put a cloth under it and I'm going to start painting it. So this is kind of the look that I was thinking. I don't know. Um, you know, it still begs the question then, you know, what to do with this large table. 
Um, I guess I could leave it there, but I don't know. I feel like it just looks better over there. I feel like this is just a little bit small for that wall. Um, so I think I like it better over in that corner. And then if I do leave it over there, then this corner, I'm gonna have to find something to fill with that corner. And the round table is just too big. It just wouldn't look right there. So when I have it painted, we'll, we'll see, kind of move things around and play with things a little bit. Um, you know, the option also is to put the big round table just right here in the middle of the foyer, which I've never really done, um, but that's also another thing to do and then move the chairs over. I don't know. We'll play around with some different options, but for now I'm gonna get started on painting this. I'm hoping it's gonna go pretty quick. Just put two coats of paint on it and be done with that since it is already sanded and it has a coat of milk paint on it. I'm not gonna put a base paint on it. I'm just gonna put two coats of paint on it. So I hope that'll go pretty quick. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so this is where we are. I put one coat of paint on the table and I don't like it. I don't feel that this is the color that I was expecting. You can see it is very blue and the color I had picked is called Hail Navy. Let me get closer to show you the blue. While it is blue, <laughs> it doesn't, I don't feel it looks like this color, which is what I expected it to look like, which is Hail Navy, which looks to be a bit more of a blacker blue, a darker blue, and I feel like it's a little bit more like one of these. So, not sure. Um, I went back and, you know, my original thought for this table was to paint it black. And then I switched to my mind at the last minute and tried to decide navy blue. And I'm going to go back with my original decision just to paint it black. And it's going to be a very deep black. I went back to the store and I got another can of paint in black this time and that is what I'm going to go with. So that's going to be my project today to get two coats of black paint on this table and see how that looks. So that's where we're at. So one coat on, and I am already liking it better. Yeah, it looks looks really good. I think it's gonna look really crisp with two coats. It's still a little bit wet, but it is a nice black. Actually, I guess in certain lights on the phone, it's looking a little brown, a little black brown, but it is a pretty, black black so i will show you what it looks like when it's dry i'm gonna wait for this to dry and put another coat on and i'm gonna get this finished up i'm gonna get this foyer in place so hold on 
Okay, so I've got two coats of it on. It's still drying, but I am really liking it. This is the back of it, but I mean, the front looks very similar. Yeah, really like it. Looks good. So the formula, in case you are interested, is, so it is a custom black color. And this is what they used to mix it. 